What's good, everybody? This is my good side, so allow me to introduce myself if you are new here. I'm your main girl, Mel, delivering all of your curly hair tips, tutorials, tricks, and tea so you can achieve your curly hair goals, which may look something like this if you're looking something like this. Yeah, this video is extremely extremely important. It's a video that I've needed to create for quite a while now because if you get this part wrong, your entire style will be ruined. What I'm talking about here is how to know if you are applying the right amount of product for your hair. So without further ado, keep watching this video where once again, I will be demonstrating on each side of my head here, two different results that you can get if you are doing things um, how do I say wrong and a better way to do things if you really want your curls to have pop in definition and last you four days. So let's get it started in half. While I'm explaining this process, I will be demonstrating a perfectly balanced application on my right side, which take note, these product amounts also work for my hair but I will explain throughout this video what to use for different hair types. And on the don't side, I will show you what it's like not to apply enough product. The first thing you really don't wanna be doing this on is dry, built up, and dirty hairs. Your hair should be clean, conditioned, and silky enough that you can easily comb through. Because let me be frank, if your hair is dry, masking it with a bunch of different products is not gonna solve your problem. Likewise, if you don't use enough product, your style is not gonna last you. All that hard work for nothing! Or was it hard work? Are you slacking? Now here's the trick. You don't want your hair to be soaking, dripping wet everywhere. And you also don't want it to be so dry that you can't work product evenly through it because if you start to work on hair that you've just towel dried or that has been air drying for far too long, your results will become inconsistent because there are going to be areas in your head which will be wetter and areas that are drier. This situation can give you an array of problems such as now you won't be able to distribute your product evenly, which means you might overdo it and put way too much product to start compensating for the moisture loss or you just don't apply enough product. Now I'm always saying, to listen to your hair. Make sure you are in a nice, quiet, peaceful place for this because you want to hear this crucial sound. What I do want to listen for is a good squish. I will usually squeeze out excess moisture from my hair until I feel that it is still very wet, but not soaking and not just damp. And if you can't hear anything, then you need to add some water moisture back into it. Now what you don't want to do is applying 10 tons of 10 different products. In many, many cases, less is actually more. Now this does also depend on what kind of outcome you are looking to achieve. If volume is what you want, you definitely want less products. The absolute bare minimum that your hair needs, it strives for, is some sort of leave-in moisture. You can see behind me here, I actually have a ton of products that I have used before that have worked on my hair because I have used them correctly. Now if you don't have a lot of hair and you don't want to be using a lot of products, you may be able to get away with just a curl enhancing cream in replace of a leave-in conditioner. Or if you have very dry hair and a lot, then you'll probably want a leave-in conditioner as well as a curl defining cream. Now you also may be completely confused as to how much product you should be applying. Too little is not enough. And if your hair is not quenched in nourishment, well then your style will just not last you. It will have little definition and likely lots of frizz and become dry. Now here's a rule of thumb. The amount of product that you apply size wise is usually as a guideline, how much hair is on your head. And you can measure this density by cupping your hair. You don't wanna squeeze the hair, but when you cup your hair, and I bring my fingers together, and I slide that through, that's what I'm left with. Now, if you have a high density, very thick, 
coarse hair, your circle of product is likely going to be much bigger. Or if you have very fine and low density hair, you could be much smaller. Again, this is kind of like a rule of thumb, kind of a guideline on how to determine how much you're going to need to use, but it's usually correct. But then again, on the other side of the spectrum, you want to be careful not to overdo it. It's usually not the product that's the problem, it's how you're using it, especially if you're being very heavy handed at the root. So something that I like to do is actually once I apply the product in my nicely wet squishy hair, when I wring my hair lightly and I can see product popping out, that is a very, very good sign that I have enough product because I'm seeing it. I don't want to be applying too much that I don't even see the hair anymore and it's just product spilling out. If that's the case, I actually want to remove some product. But if I'm not seeing any product, if I'm not seeing any type of cream coming out, then I likely want to add just a little bit more. Again, this does depend on your type of porosity, but with drier hair like mine, I want to see some of that moisture. And then I can feel the moisture, I can see the moisture, I can hear the moisture. We're good. Your problem might not even be the product amount, but your application. Now what I do not want to be seeing in any more tutorials is simply and only scrunching product in. That's kind of all we knew growing up. It's like, we just need to scrunch it in. So if you're not saturating products through your hair and you're missing areas, then your style is going to be inconsistent. My preferred way of defining the hair is by using a Denman brush. I like to work in sections smooth out the hair, work all the product through, and to find the curl all in one with it. Whether that just be raking through your hair, or if you're finger coiling, or I like to use the Denman brush. Now I applied one product to the don't side. I kind of worked it through a little bit, did a lot of scrunching on pretty dry hair, and this is what I'm left with. Already drying really fast, as opposed to the other side where I applied it on more wet than damp hair, and thoroughly saturated it through my hair. Now because I'm loving this definition, which you can already see there's more of on this side, I'm going to do what's optional here and apply a gel to really hold it in. I don't wanna scare you, but if you're someone that is not using any gel or even mousse, it is a fact that your hair is simply not going to last you as long. If you're finding that your hair is very frizzy and you're not getting really defined results, this could be why, okay? Now, if you wanna keep that look, you need to add some hold for the definition. And this will include using a styler that gives a little bit of that crunchy cast. Now, gels tend to have many different consistencies. They can be very thick and jelly. They can be very liquidy. They could be creamy in tone or clear in color. Now a general rule of thumb that I like to use is if I want just a very light hold, I will simply scrunch in the gel. My preferred type of gel is more liquidy because I find it's easier to scrunch just into the hair. But if what you're looking for is more of a medium or a strong hold, then you want to be more thorough with your application. So I'm talking about praying hands into the hair. Liquid gels are pretty great for all hair types and are particularly lighter. So if you have more fine to medium hair, then you might prefer more of a liquidy gel. Whereas a thicker gel and a jelly may be heavier and might provide more control if you have coarser or coilier hair types. And we're still hearing some magic. Now if your curls tend to frizz apart very easily, so they don't keep their definition, or they also fall flat easily, then you're gonna wanna work a little bit more gel into the hair. For really tight curls, you will actually benefit from raking the gel through. That's something I like to avoid because I like a lot more movement in my hair. But if you really need to control the curls, you will get more of that if you're raking through more of a thicker jelly type of gel as it will tend to give more hold. Now, if your hair is a little bit more on the wavy side, you may also want to add more gel, but make sure that you are smoothing it evenly. You might not want to rake it through to break up your clumps but definitely praying hands and lots of scrunching after. Bottom up and squish. Squishing and squeezing is just making sure that you know your hair has enough 
product. You can hear it, you can feel it. It's not running all over your hands. It's not spilling out everywhere. You also can't like see it on the hair, but you can definitely feel it. Just because you feel it now does not mean you're gonna feel it after. I'm gonna let my hair dry. I'm gonna go diffuse and we will see how she looks when she comes back. She's gonna look pretty crazy. Okay, okay, so there you have it. Now maybe this isn't you, but I think we all know a cousin, an aunt, a mom, a coworker, and a friend that are looking like this when they probably really wanna be looking like this. In order to have a good wash day, you really need everything to line up. From the wash day, to the products, to the application technique, to understanding your porosity, and even the drying techniques, which by the way is all videos that I have shared before, every Texture Tuesday, then your outcome may be a little more like this, and a little less like this. So if you are new here and you learned a whole bunch of things today, well then, Stay tuned, there's a whole lot more for you to know. Catch up on all of those videos and subscribe for every Tuesday where we have brand new videos, brand new information, and tutorials to make beautiful hair. So make sure that you are sharing this video with your loved ones so we can all be great. That's it for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will link everything below as well. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below and I hope to get to them later. Peace. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I don't know what the fuck to use, Amanda. I don't know what the fuck to use. I'm stressed out. <clears throat> What's the right side and the wrong side? I like it like that. But what I'm not gonna do is come out of the shower, wait 10 years, gallivanting, and that's that.